Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a different video for you. I don't think I've done one of these in so long. Like, what's in my travel makeup bag? Man, I don't even remember. It's been so long since I've done something like this. But I posted my uh, makeup bag on Instagram when I was in LA, and a lot of you really wanted me to do a video on what's inside because honestly, what I have in my travel makeup bag is pretty standard, and what I have for the most part, especially these last few months, like the last couple months, it's what's been in my travel makeup bag. I haven't really taken it out unless I'm home for a long period of time. This is just my go-to and what I use. I'll be sharing that with you guys today and where my makeup bag is from. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Um, I don't really do things like this, so let me know if you like kind of what's in my travel makeup bag, my go-to everyday products for when I'm on the go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you wanna see what's inside my Mary Poppins bag, then let's just go ahead and get started. I mentioned this on Instagram, but I did get this in a PR package. This is from Too Faced. This was from the Play Rich Live Pretty collection. I don't know. I didn't really use anything from that collection. I didn't love it, but I loved this makeup bag. And this makeup bag is actually from Stony Clover, I think it's called. Yeah, Stony Clover. I'll try to find it and link it down below for you guys, but I don't want to try to show the inside just yet because this is packed too the top. These are products that I have kept in my travel makeup bag for the last couple of months, like I said in the beginning, and what will be kept in my makeup bag the next few months because I am traveling even more. So I haven't taken anything out of this bag. I did just do my makeup with some of these items because I filmed a first impressions on this look. So it's not on this look, but on the foundation I'm wearing. But if you're interested in that, then definitely wait for the next video because it'll be up for you guys. It's a new drugstore foundation and concealer. Yeah, other than that, I haven't added anything in here. This is just what's in my bag and I'm going to share it with you. I will say this bag has a really nice zipper and I'm not <laughs> the packer that is super organized. I tried to be like, I even got those packing cubes. I got like um, a makeup bag from Amazon that has individual dividers, all this other kinds of stuff, but I just resort to stuff like this where I can just toss it in and head out the door. Especially if I'm packing my bag to go back home, I just throw shit in my suitcase and I get out the door. You know what I mean? I don't spend a lot of time on it. I did get this other makeup bag in PR2, which looks really good. I think this might be from Shay Mitchell's collection. I could be wrong. So this is a cosmetic bag really beautiful muted pink color. You have a mirror right here. This is for your brushes. These are some new products that I got in the mail. Uh, but you have a lot of compartments in here. But I think what I'm going to do is stick with the one that I'm with and just take this mirror and put it in there because I do need a, a big mirror because I never have a big mirror. I always forget to take it with me. So I'm going to put that in this makeup bag once I'm done with this video. <laughs> Let's dive on in. First thing on top is my Physicians Formula collab, and I love this palette, you guys. This is just a palette that I wanted to be a go-to palette. Palette. <laughs> this was created to be a go-to palette and something that you could do your full face with, um, eyes, blush, highlight, everything, and that is in here now. I absolutely love it. It's what I have on my face today, and it's just my go-to thing. So majority of the stuff is this. All the eyeshadows is in here. Highlights in here bronzers in here. I do have a contour shade in this bag, but I mean, this has everything, everything, all the eyeshadows that I need. It's in this palette. So you won't see any more of those in this video. So like I said, not organized, but I have everything I need. I have this Smashbox Photo Finish So Chill Coconut Primer Water. I am almost out of this, you guys. It's almost gone. Uh, luckily, I have some other primer water as backup, but this is my favorite because it smells like coconut. I also have my Pretty Vulgar, the Powder Room Setting Powder. This is one of my favorite, favorite powders. I'll have all these linked below because these are my go-to products. That's the only kind of products I pack, other than a few other things in here that we'll get to when we get to them. But... I love this powder. I think I'm almost out of it. Like, I need to purchase a new one. I have a Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I did go ahead. And, this is a new one because my other one that I have is about to be completely gone. And while I'm traveling, I don't want to run out of it. So I did put a brand new one in here um, the last time I came back home just so I knew I had everything. Sometimes I'll toss smaller things in here like this. This is my Kopari deodorant. So this is the one I have in my bag right now because I ran out of my Donna Karen one, which I prefer the Donna Karen. But I do still have this, so if I run out of anything, I can go to here because, I don't know, I just, natural deodorants are such a good idea and I try so hard, but sometimes they just don't work. This is the one that I have found that works best for me so far. I really do like it and it's just coconut oil, vegan, aluminum free, and fragrance free. So very cool. Definitely check out this deodorant if you're looking for something more natural. I have two sets of Batty B lashes in here. I think one of these is empty. 
No, it's not. Ooh, that's nice. These are ones I've already worn. They're an extra. I actually have extra on my eyes right now, which I wish I would have known that I had put them back in here. But these are the style extra. I wore these to my party with uh, Physicians Formula. And then I also have Instaho because I didn't know what style I would want. And with the look that I had at the party, I didn't do anything too dramatic. It was kind of something like this. I felt like these were a little too intense. So I'm saving these for a really nice dramatic makeup look. But I love hashtag extra for what I have on right now. Lots of brushes in here, you guys. These are my favorite brushes, my go-tos. I have this Milani Powder Bronzer Brush because I have a powder in here. I also love this one from Morphe. It's the M518. This is my bronzer brush, like all over. This is a Wet n Wild P53. I use this as my blush brush for anything that's like super pigmented or if I just wanna go in with a light hand and really build it up, I will use this brush. I also have this Dior number 16 brush right here. Sometimes I'll use this to contour. I'm not obsessed with it, but I always take it with me just in case I want it. Same for this one. This is the Sigma Large Angled Contour. Great blush brush. Um, again, if I don't want to use the Wet n Wild one and I want more of a heavy hand, I will go in with something like this. Every time I use my makeup, I need this brush. It's the Sigma Duo Fiber F50. I use this to dust off my baking. I use this to blend everything out. If I do not have this brush, we have problems. This is another contour brush I really love. It's the Sigma Small Contour F05. So if I don't want to use the Dior one that has a little bit more give to it, this one's definitely a little bit more dense, then I will use this one. I actually use this one today to do my contour now, and I really like it. It's one of those products that I used to use all the time back in the day. Like I told you guys, I'm going through this phase where I'm trying things I used to love. <laughs> and kind of just falling back in love with them, to be honest with you. Always have to have this brush. This is the MAC 242. This is one of my favorites to pack on lid color. Also apply my brow bone highlight. It's just a go-to brush for me. I have to have it. And then we have this one. This is the Sigma Shader Crease. I actually use this to highlight my brow bone too, if needed. Um, and also my inner corner. It just gives a nice, light, fluffy dusting of color to your eye. Then we have this brush. I don't recommend this one. I really like the MAC pencil brush. I've mentioned that a few times before. The MAC pencil brush does not stab my eye out like the rest of these pencil brushes do. So this one's from Sigma. It's the E30 pencil. I've even tried Morphe. I've tried really affordable brushes as well and nothing compares to the MAC one because it's just softer and it's a little bit more round so it's not like tugging your eye so much. I love that one more but I can't find it right now so I'm stuck with the Sigma one. And then I have this tapered blending E35. This is a great just like crease brush. You can put your bronzer in the crease, any transition shade, blend stuff out. It's a great brush to have. Also my MAC 217, which looks a little busted <laughs> because it's been hanging out in here for a little while. This is a great blending brush as well. And then again, this one <laughs> looks a little busted. It's just bent, but this is the Anastasia A23 brush. Have to have it for my highlighter. It's my absolute favorite. Another thing I have in here is a Laura Mercier powder puff. I don't use this often, but I will use it if I feel like my setting spray is not really sinking into the skin well. What I'll do is I'll tap this all over my skin, and it'll help everything kind of just sink into the skin a little bit more. Not the most hygienic. I just started carrying this, but I took it last time, so it's here. I should probably clean that now. Also, I have a hair tie. I love these hair ties. They're the only ones that I use. We have them on Rosie Days. This is like the new metal ones, and they're so cute. I have all of them, but um, I love these hair ties so much. They just don't pull your hair. I have three. Like, I have two more right here. Again, these are all from Rosie Days. They're just my favorite hair ties. I haven't used, like, a regular hair tie in so long. Definitely check that out. I'm going to need that back in my bag, actually. Also have a MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium Tan. This is great for if I feel like my foundation is just not matching my neck and I need more color, like after I set it with powder or whatever. So this is a great product to just go in and quickly set everything as well as touch up throughout the day and you do have a little mirror. And then I have my contour shade. So this is the MAC Bayana Bronze, I think is what it's called. And this is just a bronzing powder. It just has a nice ashy tone and it's a little bit deeper. So I use this to contour sometimes like my nose and underneath my cheekbone. Next up for foundations, we have two sets of foundations, but out of the two foundations, I have four in total because I like to mix my foundation colors. It all just depends depends on how tan I am that day. So of course you guys know I have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation, my absolute 
favorite foundation of the moment. I'm not kidding. I use the shade F8 and F12. These are my go-to, so that's why they're in my travel makeup bag. I know I love them. And then the other set of foundations are the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Wear Foundations. I really like these two. I'm going to do a full video on it for you guys, like a full wear test, but so far I'm enjoying them. They're in the makeup bag because I wanted to obviously experiment with them more. And yeah, I can't wait to... Uh, share this with you guys and show you how it works. We have another primer in here. This is the mini version of the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I saw this on Sephora and I was like, oh my gosh, I need that to travel with. I was traveling with the original one, but when I saw this mini one, I had to have it because it's so tiny. So this is the original, this is the mini one. Isn't that so cute? It's so little, but like, this is perfect for traveling because it takes up less space than this big thing. So that is like a permanent item in my travel makeup bag since it's the perfect size. Next up, we have another blush just in case I want another option. This is just MAC Melba. Classic shade. Can't go wrong with Melba. And then we have my primer. This is the Smashbox Lid Primer in Light. You guys know I love this lid primer. It's one of my favorites. And if you have oily eyelids, you're going to love this as well. For concealer, I kind of messed up concealer the last time I went traveling because I put the wrong colors in here. And I also wanted to try out a new concealer, so I threw it in my bag as well. The concealer that I threw in that was the wrong shade is the Flower Beauty Full Coverage. Or wait, no, it's Light Illusion Concealer. I love this one. But the shade light medium is too deep for me. Like, I like a more highlighted effect. So, I was like, oh no, I got the wrong one. But luckily, I did have this new Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24-Hour Concealer in Light Neutral. And I don't love this on its own because it's more of a light to medium coverage. And I don't really like that for concealers. I like for my concealer to be full coverage. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one. But since I had this, I was able to mix it with the Flower Beauty. And it lightened this up. But I still had so much coverage because of the Flower Beauty concealer. I did try this on its own. And I was just like, mm, no, not my favorite. Two brow pencils from Catrice. You guys know I love these. They're the Slimatic Ultra Precise Brow Pencils. I use the shade Medium and light medium for the outside light for the inside and then I've also been really really enjoying these I got these when I was in Georgia because I ran out of brow products and these are the L'Oreal brow stylist definer ultra fine tip sharpening pencil we have dark blonde that I use for the outer part of my brow and then blonde for the inner part so these are what I've been using I really have been enjoying them I have my YSL baby doll mascara this is a classic one for me one that I know I can go to and will make my lashes look amazing I also use this if I'm using any lashes as well oh I also have my brow contour pro in here I ran out of all the shades other than the definer and highlighter and I like to use the definer to carve out my brows and like clean anything up. So I always take this with me. This is in the shade Blonde Light. For eyeliners, we have the Colab Bold Face Liner. It's a waterproof eyelining pencil. This one's just in the shade Drama Queen, which is black. You can get this at Sally's. This is my favorite eyeliner pencil for sure. It doesn't run on my eyes. It stays all day and it is so black. So definitely check this out from Sally's. Next up, we have the Balm Schwing Liquid Liner. Ever since I tried this forever ago, I can't get away from it I will say I tried the new benefit today too and it's pretty dang good I think that's gonna be another favorite but one that has been an all-time favorite and that is always in my travel bag is the bomb swing it's just so black and it stays put I love it it's just one of my favorites and it is a felt tip I also have some lash glue in here we have the black kiss adhesive lash strip glue as well as the clear because you never know what kind of look you're doing you need to know what kind of lash glue I also have my scissors in here some of these Huda Beauty and Tweezer Man limited edition tweezers they are so cute and they're little and mini so they're perfect for traveling and then we also have this gimme brow from Benefit this is in the shade number two so this is what I love to set my brows with it's just really great I have another pair of tweezers in here from Tweezer Man <laughs> I didn't know that. And then a couple more brushes that I have. This one was from, I think this is from an Amazon brush set. So I don't really know the name of it. I just keep that one with me to contour my nose. Also, this Luxie 221 Flat Definer is great to push product up against that lower lash line. And then we have this Wet n Wild P15 brush, just another little blending brush, as well as the Sigma Blending E25. So just a couple more blending brushes in here. I have the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. This is my absolute favorite for my bottom lashes. It's all I use for my bottom lashes. It coats the lashes, makes them nice and fluttery. 
but it's nothing too intense. You know what I mean? It never gets clumpy or anything like that is my go-to. I have another brush in here. This is the Sigma Blending E36. This is a really tiny blending brush, so like for precise work, you can use this. I also have, I guess I'll tell you about this real quick. I have this little shaver thing in here. This is great for like your upper lip, which I could do again, I need to do that. Or just whatever, if you wanna shave your face just a little bit, I always take this with me because you never know when you're gonna need one. Because sometimes, listen, we all have a little bit of hair above our upper lip, okay? And then you just want to get it off. Love that. And then we also have two lip liners in here. We have this one from Maybelline. It's the Gigi Hadid. This is just a great neutral lip liner. And then we also have this one from J Cat Beauty. This is in 218 Mauve. Last but not least are lip products. And these are the lippies that I have. I'm obsessed with tiny little liquid lipsticks. For the main reason that I rarely go through one full liquid lip, so having these tiny ones are perfect for on the go. I put these in my purse. Um, they're just my go-to. So if I ever see a mini liquid lipstick in a color that I love, I normally get it because I know I'll use it a ton. We have the Dose of Colors Truffle in here. And then three Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks. We have Jet Setter, Bikini Babe, and Sugar Mama. So they're just the cutest little thing. Uh, I'm going to tell you really quickly what I have on my lips now, even though I probably should have announced that in the beginning of the video. What I have on my lips now is one of the mini liquid lipsticks in Do from Dose of Colors. This is in Heartbreaker. Then I have this Pat McGrath lip gloss on. This is in Faux Real. Faux Real Lust Gloss. So that's what I have on my lips now. I love the combo. And this lip gloss has not gotten on my teeth at all. So plus, plus. For that. I'm going to put all this stuff back in my makeup bag minus things that I need to wash but that is everything that I take with me traveling. I don't feel like I need a ton of different eyeshadows or things like that because when I'm traveling I just like to keep it kind of probably hear the plane. I like to keep it kind of the same over and over again. It's something I can do quickly. I just like to bring a couple different foundations and concealers, especially if I'm trying new things out, and then all my staple products as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you guys have to have in your travel makeup bag. I want to know. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!